In this lesson, we are going to revise the exponential laws. We are going to concentrate on the product law. What does it say? It says that when multiplying powers with the same base, you add the exponents. Like here we have this power and this power. The bases are the same. The bases are x. We have x as a base there, x as a base there. So what do we do? We add the exponents. That's the product law. But let's look at these questions. Simplify the following. We have a to the power 2 times a to the power 5. The bases are the same for these powers, so we can easily add the exponents. So a will be a squared times a to the power 5 is equal to a to the power 2 plus 5, meaning that this is a to the power 7. Okay, and then B, B we have to be careful. The base here is X and X there. Then 2 and 3 are coefficients. Okay, so we can start by multiplying the coefficients and say 2 times 3 and then times X to the power 2 times X to the power 6. And then you can multiply the coefficients that will give you 6. And then now we have powers with the same base there. We can add the exponents x to the power 2 plus 6, meaning that this is 6x to the power 8. Then c, c is almost the same as b. We have coefficients. Okay, so we can say 3 times 3 times 9, or you can say 3 squared. 9 is 3 squared, or just as 9 is still fine. Then times b to the power 2 times b to the power 3. Right, 3 times 3 times 9, that is 81. So we're getting 81. And then b to the power 2 times b to the power 3 will be b to the power 2 plus 3. Just add the exponents. So if 81, b to the power 5. Right, and then d. Our exponents have variables. We still use the same procedure. If the powers have the same base, add the exponents. 2 to the power x plus 3 times 2 to the power 2x minus 1. So it becomes 2 to the power x plus 3, then plus 2x minus 1. Okay, so we can simplify that. We can say x plus 2x, that is 3x, then 3 plus negative 1, that is 3 minus 1, which is 2. So we've simplified that. And then e is 5 to the power 2a times 5 to the power negative 3a plus 1. So again, we're adding the exponents here because the bases are the same. So it's 5 to 2a plus negative 3a plus 1. 2a minus 3a, that is negative a. So it's going to be negative a plus 1 here. We've simplified our exponential expressions.